Hey everybody, welcome back to Nika Brothers. I'm out here in Charleston, North Charleston, South Carolina, the Northern Yard. The wind is coming, sorry for that guys, but I'm out here to check out some flooded vehicles. I think flood season is here. There's over 400 cars that are flooded in this yard alone. So I wanna check out that a couple that are playing today. I've narrowed my list down to about eight vehicles I really wanna check out and hopefully they're okay. Who knows what's gonna happen and hopefully we'll pick one up. I got the trailer with me. I wanna take it home. Let's get out there and find ourselves a great deal. All right, all right guys, beautiful morning. Let's check out this 2021 Honda CRC, I think. It's a rented drive, water flood damage, super low miles, 26,000 miles on it. Little doors in the back, it's a HRV. That's what I meant to say, guys, yeah. So nice little daily for sure, great gas mileage. Let's do our smell test. Not bad. Really nice, smells pretty fresh, pretty clean. It is a run-in drive. Very clean, wow. Unfortunately, no power, but that's okay. No power box, and we'll check it out. But overall, it smells great in here, guys. I couldn't even tell it's a water flood damage. All right, guys, checking the oil level color, plastic dipstick, but that looks good. It's hard to tell in there, but nice. Sorry guys, definitely windy out there. Nice. Unfortunately got some issues going on here. It says adaptive cruise control, ABS, brake system. I'm surprised the airbag light isn't on. Dang. We have manual seats, electric parking brake system, malfunction, so probably water got underneath and got that computer and messed it up. So even if the water level is really low and probably water didn't even get inside, there might be a module underneath that did get damaged because that's a lot of codes and it's probably one computer. Good to know. I mean, it's still really nice. Sunroof, everything looks good, smells good, a little dirty, but very nice dang guys so i was definitely having high hopes on this one but it does have a good bit of issues water line is super low it's not even on there how low it is but we do have some electric electronic issues going on so definitely keep that in mind as we're playing it because it is playing really soon all right guys check out this 2023 bmw x6 m3 this thing is almost a hundred thousand dollars salvaged out of water damage so let's check it out here's the water line itself beautiful dang this is one of the highest valued vehicles here at the yard sheesh look at those rims the body looks like it's in great condition let's check out the inside we're gonna treat it like no other Oh, it smells brand new inside, guys. Check out those seats. Ooh, this thing's a beauty. Plenty of power. Wow, it's a run and drive. Low water line, so should be good to start. Nice. Not bad, guys. I don't even see any warning lights on there. Already at $39,000 for this bad boy, so. Sheesh. You got your paddle shifters, you got your second paddle shifters, manual mode. This thing is a beast. Power seats are working. I'm sure this thing is sealed up. No water got inside. Very nice. Got that moon roof going on. Beautiful carbon fiber trim everywhere. Fully loaded. Oh yeah, somebody's gonna love this. Definitely out of my budget, but I just had to check it out. Wow. What a beautiful ride. So far I haven't seen any issues. Man, I'm definitely curious to see how much the final price is gonna be for this bad boy. Man, so nice. So many options. Everything seems to be working properly. Beautiful condition. Playing in about 20 minutes. 
Ace. Ace. Got ourselves a 2017 QX60 Infinity. Definitely think it's gonna go for more of a budget build. Water line is a little bit less than halfway up the door. Oh man, biohazard. Jeez. This thing is flooded out. I don't know why I was so excited about it, but that smell test did not pass. And that is rough. So this is a case of whew, some bad water flood. Wow. This thing got submerged. Seriously flooded. Cross it off my list. That was a good walk out here, but unfortunately it is not what I need. And we're gonna keep going. Check out this 2021 flood title Range Rover. Man, this thing is definitely sick. Got the pop out handles. Looking slick with the bronze and the black. All right, let's see how bad is this water damage. 83,000 miles on it, not too bad. A couple scuffs in the front bumper. So the handles are all popped out. That's pretty cool, Tesla style. Smelling great in here. No power. Hopefully that's the case. I don't know if the handles are supposed to stay popped out. Beautiful interior though. So far so good. I think they left the trunk lid popped a little bit to vent. So basically air's coming out, coming in to get that fresh breeze, just in case there was moisture in there. The engine bay looks a little dirty. But man, could this be the cheapest Range Rover on the market? Oil level looks a little high, but good color. Kind of solid. All right, it's always a good indication. Nice, got power. 8,000 miles on it? Shit. No, no, 28, okay. It's a run and drive, guys. That sounds horrible. Dang, did not see that coming. Well, I'm gonna put this on my trailer. Maybe that starter's going out, got some water on it or something. That's unfortunate. I mean, it probably was a run and drive, but not no more. Dang. Man, so far, nothing I've checked out is a 10 out of 10 drive home. It either got some kind of lights on there, or either it's completely destroyed, or not even running. That's, that's rough. Got ourselves a 2017 Camry Hybrid. Oh, uh, salvage out of water damage, really low, but it's not a run and drive, it's an engine start. So that logic behind here is not everybody wants a hybrid water damage. Sorry guys, that wind is brutal. Definitely got some wear and tear in here. No power, let's pop that hood. Let's smell test. It's good. Nice, seats are moving. That's always a good sign. And I guess it started. Okay, hard to tell. Without the engine turning on, who knows? Check, electric power, steering system. Oh boy, we got issues. Yep, I guess this one is kinda weird. It's kinda rough inside anyway. I need a lot of work. A lot of issues. I'm not familiar with the hybrid system and I'm sure there will be a lot of electrical problems if it did get water inside and power steering doesn't seem like it's working. Nothing else is turning on. I'm not sure guys. I think it's a pass. Next on our list is this 2020 GMC Arcadia. Very nice. This thing is definitely fully loaded, watered out though. <laughs> SLT, it is not a run and drive. 
So that's rough, but it seems okay. Got a little damage right there, a little bit of damage on the tailgate, but that's working. Third row seating, leather. It's a great family SUV. I'm looking for one. That would be awesome. But let's see how bad the damage is. This side's looking good. It's popped already, nice. Let's get in there. So it's not a run and drive. Oil level looks really good. Good color. Good level, not like crazy, overfilled. <laughs> so that's nice. Looks like somebody already messed with the fuses or just checking it out, trying to get it started. Radiator level looks a little low. Hmm, interesting. But let's do our smell test. Yeah, I could smell it. Definitely had water inside. The seat does not want to move. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. That's pretty strong. I don't want to start it, but I do have power. I'm just not pressing the brakes. Man. Seats are not moving. Doesn't want to run and drive. And it smells like water. Three strikes and we're out. This Honda Accord is playing very soon, probably 10 minutes. We've got some front end damage going on. Pretty high water line. Lower on this side, but I guess higher on the other side. Sheesh. Sorry guys for the wind. Let's check out the inside. Surprisingly, it smells really good. No power, that's okay. Let's check it out. All right guys, so it looks like the radiator AC condenser is okay. Just a little plastic skirt got ripped off. It is an enhanced vehicle, so it's not a run and drive. Ooh, and that's a lot of oil. Maybe, that's not, not that bad. That's pretty good. I'm definitely checking the oil on it. Yeah, maybe the water got to the starter or something, but let's do our due diligence and check it out. See if the seats move, see if power comes on, lights in the dash, all that good stuff. Nice. All right, all right, it's a big deal for a flooded vehicle. Ooh, I think the engine's locked up. Yep, so if you wanna do an engine swap, this is the one for you, but man, it's a lot of work, so I'm gonna keep going. All right, guys, guys, this is a beautiful 2020 Ford Explorer ST. I'm generally excited about this. I mean, run and drive. Hopefully it's a low water line, Hopefully no issues. I would love to pick this up and daily this for sure. It'd be a great family car. My wife's got a lead foot. She likes to go fast. She likes to go places. So she would love this car. It's a pretty high water line, but it is a run and drive. I don't know. That's why we're here. Let's check it out. Oh, it smells like water pretty bad. No power. Let's put some power to it. Like I said, run and drive. Who knows? So far, not so good, guys. That smells pretty strong. Kind of dusty up here in the engine side, but I think it is a eco boost. Sometimes they suck up water, but that's a great spot for the computer. Not gonna lie, guys, that's nice. You know, it's not like in the fender well, it's not underneath in the bottom. Ooh, look at all that though. So definitely went through some water and that turbo is right there. And you see stuff going on everywhere. So it, it went through the water. Oil. Surprise looks really good. Not too milky, not too runny. Just right. Not too high, not too low. Let's put that back in. Power on it. See what it does. All right, guys, we got power now. Ooh, we got movement. That's really nice. Okay. Ford Performance. Yeah. 
Okay, all right, all right. I was definitely nervous there for a little bit, but we do have a traction light on, check engine light is on, hill assist, airbag light is on, so probably water got in there, into that module over there. Oh man, and it is running a little rough. All sorts of issues going on. That's unfortunate. This thing's sweet. Heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel, top of the line, but then just have more issues, honestly, at the end. Oh, I'd give it a six out of 10. Dang, guys, definitely disappointed. I mean, basically going through the list, making it a water damage, checking out this area that are playing today, that are run and drive, less than 200,000 miles. My list went down to like six cars, and I checked those six cars out and just did not maybe that one was good i wanted that honda and it went for too much so i'm literally leaving the empty trailer but hey if you want to win this game you got to be okay with not winning today which is part of it you, you just can't win them all you have to be patient you have to be smart check the marketplace see how much they're going for there's no need to overpay and get something just to struggle with it later you make your money right there in that first purchase and you want to get those good deals and unfortunately i wasn't able to get some today but stay tuned hopefully we'll find some more Thanks guys for watching, we'll catch you next time.